I'm going to show you a little bit here of the grisaille. Let me get some black. I always have my order. If you want to keep the orders, even though I don't have the other colors here. So this this is not what you today. You're just going to be doing the with the the burnt umber, and then later with the white. When you go home, when this is dry, then you're going to come to your black. So this is where you come in with your with your black, and you're going to go over. You're going to kind of repeat what you just did, and this is where you really want to start smoothing things. This is where you want to get it nice and smooth. So you're putting your black in there, and then you're going to look for that core shadow. Like there's a core shadow here, a little bit of a core shadow here. That's not really a core shadow, but it's still a shadow. In here, in here, uh, there's a little bit in here. Um, you're going to be putting that, that black down. Anywhere where you feel like you're seeing the blue. And really the blue, it's not really blue. It's in that ineffable color, you know, that kind of cool. <clears throat> and you're gonna look for those areas. <clears throat> Don't put it on heavily. But what we want to do is we're priming this to bring in those blues. So I would go up here too and put that in there. Okay. And then uh, also you've got a little bit of a core shadow right in there. And that's what the gel is. Huh? That's, you're doing that with the gel. I've got oh. as little gel, just a little, a so teeny bit. it's like. It's like I, I go like this, and then wipe my brush off, and that's enough gel. So very little, very little gel. Okay. So now, once that's set up, or even once it's dry, you can come back with now again with your white, and we're building up again. So put my white down there, put it next to that area. Okay. Put it next to it. Put it next to that area. It's always a good idea to move around when you're painting. You want to try to pull up your whole painting together. Don't get lost. How dark is this in comparison to this? You need to, because darkness is all relative. You know, values are all relative. So, here, a little bit of white in there. That's a little bit too much. Don't be afraid to erase. And so now, I have that down there, and I can do exactly the same thing I was doing before, but it's, but it's going to even intensify that idea of dragging over. And look at how blue that, that becomes. It's striking blue. And, this, and it's, it's these, this overlaying that creates that, that, those cool tints. You're going to have the warm tones too later because then you're going to come back after this is all finished. Then you're going to come back with your glazing at the very end, and then you can, with the glazing, you can, you can decide how much uh, warmth you want in there. So it's going to be cool for now. And as you can see in that book here, the Titian book here, how how warm it is here in this book. How do you know how many layers it's good? I mean. Oh, a lot of layers. The more, la the more layers, the richer it becomes. And uh, I mean, at some point, you have to be like, is huh? it good? How do you know when it's good enough or when it's finished? Well, those are your artistic choices. Because, because uh, some people like something that's highly refined and I mean, just with no trace of the brush stroke. Other people like to have lots of you know, lots of brush activity. And there's something to be said for both ways. Even Titian himself, uh, when he was younger, this is one of, one of his younger works, and this is all smooth. I just wanted to show how, how uh, yellow that, that is. This was later clean, and it, it's, it, it, the, the colors are closer to this now. But uh, this is because of the, the varnish yellowing. But you can see how you can make that very warm. He started to paint like a, like an impressionist. I mean, if you look at what he said, you talk about brushwork. He went towards the brushwork. Time was short. He, to he lived to be 90. Yeah, but still, time was short. Yeah, time was short. So, I mean, look at look at how look how brushy these are. I think this was this was his last work. And uh, look look at this. Just, oh, oh, damn. Just 
wrong depths of color, very completely lost the sense of drawing. And you compare this, you know, to this. Mm -hmm. It's two different two different things. But this is the evolution of an artist. And these are artistic choices. There's not there's not a right or a wrong. You know, a, you have to decide what works for you, what, what you like. So it, it really is a question of artistic choice. At this point, we're, we're smoothing out. Later, later, you can decide how much brushiness you want. But for now, let's try to get this as refined as we can. So same thing over here, dragging this over. You see where I drag over, how it becomes cool? And that's an effect that we want over here. Just dragging that over. And um, this is called scumbling. And scumbling can also mean uh, a broken scumble. In other words, you're just dragging over the top of the canvas. Uh, you know, if, I'll, I'll wipe this away, but you, you see how I can drag over and it, the color kind of breaks up and left some of the color underneath. So, so that's one style of scumbling. The other is to mix it heavily with, uh, with your, your uh, gel or with the linseed oil. Towards the end, you want to use that linseed oil. You were asking me about that before. Towards the end, you want to start using linseed because the linseed oil lets it, lets it flow a little bit and gets what gives it that really rich effect. I'll bring in maybe a sample uh, next week. But, um, so the other way is with what's called a half paste. And you can see that we were doing this last week uh, wet on wet, but if I do it wet on dry, then it's really easy because it's not gonna mix and I'm getting the effect that I'm looking for. But anyway, let me uh, erase that. I'm gonna mess up your painting. <laughs> uh, you can, you know, racing is part of painting, so. Take some of this away here. Are there any other questions?